Good morning. Good evening, Good teacher. Morning. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Really? That's fine. All right. Everything good? Every single. Today is Wednesday. Yeah. And everybody knows and... that. <laughs> but you know what? I felt this week long. I don't know why. Me too. Yeah. The, the, the teacher, the, the finish uh, the, the English courses the, the next week? Yes. Oh. The finish, no, the end. Yeah. The end, the end, the end, yes. The end is level. <laughs> yes. Do you know what is the difference between finish and end? No, it's, it's interesting to, to know about that. <laughs> okay, good. It's like start and begin. Okay. Right. Okay, let me give you an example. The soccer or the game is one hour. Yes? Yes. Okay. The game starts at eight and it finishes at nine. I'm sorry, the game starts at end and at eight and it ends at nine. So we have start and end. I was yeah. playing, but in the minute 34, I, I hurt my leg, so I finished. So the game ended at seven, the eight to nine, right? The game ended, here, let me give you another example. Okay, this class is from eight to nine, correct? Correct. Right. Okay, start, class, but, but today, start at eight. yes, starts at eight, it ends at nine. But today I have to do something. I need to ask your permission and we need to finish at 8.45. Okay, so please finish. Yeah. We're <laughs> finish. going to leave early. Yes, <laughs> so finish is when you stop. Um. But end is the specific time, date, or event. Schedules. Oh, all right. On the schedule. I'm sorry? On the schedule time. What? Scheduled time, yes. Scheduled time. Scheduled. Scheduled time. Yes. So, for example, um, I only see how many people are connected right now. Two, four, six, seven people. Oh, look, Gio. Geo's mm -hmm. in. You see, the class starts at eight, ends at nine, but Geo began at 8.05. Yeah, always. Always. Yeah. No, but you see, do you understand? We're doing the difference between start and begin and finish and end. So okay. the time is start and end. The yeah. movie starts and the movie ends. The game starts the game ends. You decide when to begin and when to finish. All right, okay. Okay, so it's like people I, I, I begin it. and finish. Yes. Like Nelson said, it's scheduled. Thank you. Start and end is scheduled. All right. Okay. Yeah. So like, like yeah. the example, it's example, right? It's not real, but I, I told you, okay, class, I know the class is from eight to nine, but today I need to finish at 8.45. The class is scheduled to start at eight and to end at nine, but I need to finish at 8.45. That's the difference. Okay. Right. Okay. So yeah. welcome everybody. Everybody's here. Sandra, there's Nelson, there's Veronica, Michelle Montoya, and Rosa Elena. Hi. Hi, how are you? Yeah. Hi, Rosa. You always look like you're a pilot. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> gamer. Yeah, yeah, like a, a gamer, a pilot. Yeah. My internet is uh, is uh, is very bad today, all day. It's been bad. Yeah, it's, it's running bad all day. Oh man, 
Okay, cool. Good to know. Thank you for telling. Have you had problems with the platform today? A lot. <laughs> we always. Always. <laughs> oh, let me change the question. Have you not had problems with the platform today? <laughs> Man, I think uh, the we always have troubles or with the fill filled in questions. Yes. You see, um, the problem is that the platform. There are many different ways of saying the same thing, but the platform wants only one. Yeah. But they're not very specific on which one. Yeah. Okay. Let me share my screen with you. All right, this is what we did yesterday, remember? Yes. Remember that the, the man who accidentally had Alzheimer? I was thinking about that today. I should get Alzheimer one of these days. <laughs> Oh no, amnesia. Amnesia. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know what the difference is. Oh, no. I, I said it's a sick uh, illness. No. Illness. Uh, yeah, illness. Uh. But I think I think amnesia too. Yes, it, I, I, it is a consequence for the so, suffer this uh, illness. Oh, okay. And maybe Mauricio Funes has amnesia. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. yeah, because he doesn't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> there are many causes to, to suffer the, the amnesia. <laughs> All the politicians in the country have amnesia. Yes, yes. People too. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, people too. <laughs> Yes. Okay, um, <laughs> let's see, 3.0. By the end of this lesson, participants will know how to identify and use relative and non-relative clauses. This is going to be interesting. So defining and now and non-defining relative clauses. What is a clause, Gio, do you remember? Ricardo? What? A, it, it's a clause. It's a, uh, yes. Defining or non-defining? No, no, just a clause. Ah, just a close one. Like when to connect to two uh, to sentences. Yeah. No, that's a compound. If you, oh, and you have a group to of words, say or describe one thing that you want to, to say. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, you're there. Jordana, you look like you're Googling it. So what is <laughs> what I, you are, huh? We saw it in the glasses. Okay. Yes, in the reflection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is a clause, Jordan? Actually, I'm not, but I guess a clause is a sentence. Yeah. It, it is. It is a sentence. Right. It's a group of words. It usually has a subject and a verb, okay? So a clause is a group of words. Remember clause, okay? Because you're going, if you keep on, if you continue to study English, you're going to hear clause in many different terms. Right. Yeah, a main clause, uh, like right now, um, the finding clause. But the clause never changes. The clause is a group of words. Okay. All right, let's hear this. Let's hear this. Okay. Welcome to a new section. Are you ready? Do you see the screen? Yes. I, I... All right. In the essential or optional information about someone or something, we hope you still remember how to do it. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. A defining relative clause defines or gives essential information about a noun. New Orleans is a city where people go to celebrate Mardi Gras. Salvador is famous for food and music that trace their origins to Africa. A non-defining relative clause gives optional information about a noun. Notice the use of commas. Seoul, which hosted the 1988 Summer Olympics, is well known for its shopping. There are many temples and shrines in Kyoto, which used to be the capital of Japan. So 
Sorry. What Salvador are they talking about? Which you I think Brazil? Isn't it San Salvador? No, no. the Salvador is from Brazil. Bahia. No, no, I know, but it's Salvador or San Salvador? Salvador. Salvador. Oh. oh. Um, there oh. were some Mexican people that they, they were very angry because um, you know, you know, you you know you too, right? The band. Okay, they have written. Yes. They have written two songs to El Salvador. I I don't know if you ever heard them. And it's very because the the singer he actually came to El Salvador. He came in the war. In Wasapa, he was in 1985-86 in Wasapa, and um, and the song is kind of heavy for a U2 style. Pero the Mexican people would always say because he says, "I feel a long way from the hills of San Salvador," and Mexican people would always say, "It's not, it, no, how is Bono gonna sing about El Salvador?" Blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> uh, that that song was he was talking about Brazil, and blah, but there was no internet in that time. And um, until internet came. <laughs> and then, you know, they were interviewing Bono. He says, yes, uh, that album was inspired in El Salvador. And I went to El Salvador. I went to Nicaragua. I went to uh, Guatemala. And then, then the song. And and <laughs> it was funny. So then, ¿Quién era este mexicano reporter? He was, he was a famous Mexican. Se quedó callado. Like, ooh. Because actually Bono said, yes, the song was about a song. It's a good song. Listen to it. It's interesting. So listen, it says defining and non-defining relative clause. A defining relative clause defines or gives essential information. New Orleans is a city where people go to celebrate Mardi Gras. That's essential, correct? That's something essential. That's something, what is essential? When people say New Orleans, it's essential that you know that it's famous for Mardi Gras. Nelson, Los Planes. Who says? <laughs> yes, yes. Diablo. But give me the sentence. <laughs> Los Planes. It's, Los Planes it's a, a city or... Uh, it's oh, the best place to eat in pupusas. Uh, it's the best the, place where the people good, the good weather. Really, Nelson? Los planes good weather. Okay. <laughs> good weather. But yeah, remember, you have to give essential information. What is something essential about Los Planes? Yeah, okay. Uh, it's, uh, Los Planes is famous. Uh, because uh, there there are many restaurants to cook uh, make 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 uh, make uh, delicious pupusas. very good yes you see like it says here new orleans you can see new orleans is a city where many young people go that's normal no but Give something essential about New Orleans. Ah, oh, New Orleans is a city where people go to celebrate Mardi Gras. Los Planes. Los Planes is the place where people go on the weekends to eat pupusas. Or other typical food. Yes. Ah. Uh, Ruth. Hi. Hi. Maluma. Maluma. Hawaii de madrugada. No, no, como es. Ah, no, vacaciones, la cosa. Hawaii. I don't know who is he. Oh, please. Okay. No, like him or not, who is Maluma? 
Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's a guy that he believes she he's singing very well, but only he thinks no, about it, but it's no, not true. Well, well, okay. Well. Well, good, but what I want to hear is the defining relative clause, something essential about Maluma. Okay, he is a singer. Or Maluma a is a singer, singer who is famous for it's controversy, music, and lyrics. Oh, no, that's Bad Bunny, too. Hello, oh, my Zuna. <laughs> All that kind. Okay, but let's get more attention. Teacher, how do you say misógeno in English? I'm sorry, what is misógeno? It is... Misógeno is a, it's a kind of um, violence uh, yes, against the women. Oh, okay. I will look for that right now. Hold on. Or or let's have Jordana. Jordana, Google it, please. <laughs> okay. It's the first okay. time that I heard that word. Yeah, no, I've heard it's it before. Okay. It's mis misogynist. I think I think it's misogynist. But yeah, okay, look. misogynist. Oh, it's misogynist, right? Yeah. I mean, I've heard it in English. I didn't know it existed in Spanish. No, I learned <laughs> I learned how to say it in Spanish now. Okay, but okay, but remember. All the essential information is not necessarily good. So, okay, if you don't like Maluma, yes, Maluma is a singer who is not liked by, by many people in El Salvador. Right. Because many people don't like him. And yes, many people like him. All right, Rosa Elena. Hello. Hello, Pollo Campero. Pollo Campero is famous, is the famous food for some Valorian people. Okay, it's a famous chicken. Chicken for some Valorian people. Good. Okay, good, good. Uh, Pollo Campero is a, is a famous chicken for Salvadorian people, or Pollo Campero maybe is the most <clears throat> famous fried chicken in El Salvador. Good. So the clause here is in bold where people go to celebrate Mardi Gras. Remember, I told you, uh, a clause is a group of words that has a noun, has a subject and a verb. That is a clause, okay? So remember remember that, remember clause. Okay, the capital of Japan. Defining relative. That's what the hell, who said capital of <laughs> Japan? Uh -huh. So remember, there is a subject clause, an object clause, a this clause, a that clause. But a clause is always going to be a group of words that has a subject and a verb. Oh, I'm sorry. Function like adjectives because they are, which used to be the capital of Japan. Okay, so a non-defined clause gives optional information about a noun. Notice the use of commas. So, which hosted the 1988 Summer Olympics is well known for its shopping. What is the non-defined clause there? Which, which hosted the 1988 Summer Olympics? Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's so no, it gives optional information. Aunque, I'm sorry, pero para mí este dolor estuvo, este ejemplo no estuvo tan bueno porque that's essential information. Well known for its shopping, maybe, because it's not principal information. No, in right. this case, in this case, that is the main. It's an optional information. Yes, the optional information, I, for me, it would have been, it would have been, it should have been Seoul is well known, Seoul, which is well known for its shopping, hosted the 1988 Summer Olympics. So for me, the optional information that is well known for. Yeah, it has more sense in that way. Yes, yes, it does. Because for me, it's more important that it hosted the 1988 Summer Olympics. We can go to Nelson's example with Los Planes and it's um, cold. What do you think is more essential about Los Planes, the weather or the pupusas? Maybe the weather. No, the most essential. The pupusas, teacher. Yeah, the yes, pupusas. 
why is Los Planes famous? When you think of Los Planes, you think of pupusas. pupusas. When you think of a taco, maybe you think of well, the weather. <laughs> you think yeah. about the weather. Yeah. yeah, you think about the weather. So yeah. we just, let's say Los Planes <laughs> as a defining clause. Los Planes, which is a place, Los Planes is a, it's a place where or which is known to eat pupusas. Yeah, where people go to eat pupusas. Or, uh, or it's a tra it's a tradition to go eat pupusas. Like uh, Oloquilta is famous for the pupusas too. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But remember, Oloquilta is famous for pupusas. It's not a clause because you need the group of words, but it has to have a subject and a verb. So Oloquilta is famous because people go eat pupusas on the weekends. Okay, now let's give additional or optional information about Los Planes using a non-defined relative clause. Los Planes, which has very good weather, is famous because people go and eat pupusas there. Do you understand? Did you see the, the um, non-defining non clause? Yes. Yes. Okay, so you say there are many temples and shrines in Kyoto. Kyoto. Mm -hmm. Did you go there, Ricardo? Yes, yes. I, I have to, today there is uh, about 24 years ago. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. Yes. It used to be the capital of Japan. Oh. Yeah, you see, you see. I found that interesting. Oh, Kyoto used to be the ca capital of Japan. That's the defining clause. Yes. The first is, is like... Yes, it's an interesting city, yes. Because there are many temples. Pan. Oh, can you say something? And how do you say my name is in Chinese? Uh, Romero Des. Uh, what is Romero Des? Uh, this is, is a particular because uh, I, I am Watashi is, is I, I, I am. Watashi wa, Watashi wa, I am. Watashi wa Romero des. Japanese or Chinese? No, this is a Japanese. Mm -hmm. oh, Watashi wa David. David des. What is San? Daniel San. Daniel San. Uh, San is, 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 is a. a uh, senor <laughs> is a oh, really? yes, a mister. Mister is a, a son, Romero San, Ricardo San, David San. Oh, really? San is a, is, is a senor. Oh man, because in the karate kid, remember, but you Daniel? can use San as well with for women, yeah, San uh, too, San, San too, San yes. Too. Yeah. yes, yes, it is same. Some mm -hmm. everybody, same, and it is a number of for the. Uh, um, um, Mr. Or, or Mrs. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Natasha Iba, Natasha Iba. David Des. <laughs> David Des, oh man. Imagine a difficult name to pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha Iba Eusebio. <laughs> 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 because I noticed that Chinese people, they speak a lot with um, syllables, right? Yes, yes. In, in Japanese, there are many particles. It's a, it's a lot of difficult to, to, to understand the, the particles. I imagine. Yes. Yeah, I don't think I don't think nobody can ever be a native Chinese speaker only if you are a native Chinese speaker. Yes. Um, let me give you an example. I have met people that their their native Spanish and they have learned English and they sound native. That's how easy English is. I have never heard somebody who is native in English that studied Spanish and speak native Spanish. Have you? Because Spanish is very difficult. Yes. Everybody says, says that. Yes. Yes, Michelle. There is an American girl called Holly. She speaks Spanish beautifully. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Do, do you follow her on? No se dice Nike. Se dice Nike. Nike. <laughs> Holly. Yes. Holly. I think it's Teacher Holly, no? Mm -hmm. Miss Holly. Miss Holly. 
It's yeah. really nice girl. But I really think she's not American, American, American. Because she has to have some kind of a Spanish background, in my opinion, I think. But yeah, but she's good. Yeah, she's she's hot too. Nice. She's hot. Do you know what is she's hot? It's not what you think in Spanish. When you say she's hot, man, she's pretty. She's beautiful. You know, anything. She's pretty, she's sexy, she's beautiful. Or vice versa. He is hot for you women. Yes? Women, Camilo is hot. Yes? No. <laughs> I don't know. Some women think no. so. No. I don't Who think. is Camilo? He's a stupid man with a mustache. Ah, uh, yeah, it's very ridiculous. Yeah. Yes. And Maybe Chris Heaven and Chris Hangworth is hot boy. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I made a Photoshop picture of my wife holding hands with Chris Evans. I have a poster and... of Chris Hangworth in my offices. Two posters. Oh, because it's a imagine or image, I don't know, the, the presentation of Bass Bottle, the perfume. <laughs> oh, that's cool. What about Alice Cooper? Do you think he's hot? Who? No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm Alice, no. Coop yeah. Alice, no, Alice Cooper. Yes, Alice <laughs> Cooper. No, he's not hot. <laughs> he's Marilyn crazy. Manson? No. No, no, of course not, teacher. Marilyn no. Manson. I don't. I hope he's not. He's demanding. He is in trouble, man. He he's he's going to suicide. I think. Lost the career, or he's not over. famous. Yeah, he's over now. At the beginning, I I feel afraid to salt them all the all the group. <laughs> yes, he's a show, but I really like his music. He has a good voice. Yeah, that is really nice yeah. music. Yes. Okay. Let's... But I felt afraid of them. <laughs> yes, of course. Um, let's let's continue with the video. Defining relative clauses function like adjectives because they add information about a noun or a noun phrase. They must always immediately follow the noun they describe. They give essential information about the noun. People like to go to restaurants that have good food. Non-defining relative clauses. Non-defining relative clauses also describe a noun, but the information they give is not essential. They are set off by commas. That restaurant which has good food is the most popular one in town. Okay, this is a very good example. Hey, this is going crazy. I like this example. That restaurant, Nelson, what is the defining clause here? Which has good food or is the most popular in town? Mm, relative close or not relative close? No, the relative. Relative, which has good food. Okay, so you think this is the sensual thing about the restaurant in the sentence? No, it's the, the most popular, yes. the popular one in town. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, yeah, that's essential. Okay, in this case, because of the sentence, the essential, um, what the person wants to express is, um, La, what's the most popular restaurant in, in San Salvador? Burn last night. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Not anymore. Pueblo viejo. What? Yeah. What's the most popular <laughs> restaurant what? in town? Okay, now let's give. Oh, pero se quemó. Okay, let's make a yeah. sentence out of this. <laughs> yes. In the, in the okay, give me an uh, undefined and undefined clause. Pueblo viejo. Mm. Mm. 
which we, burned last yes. night. Yeah, it okay. was the most popular <laughs> restaurant in Metro Sur. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. Yeah. Pueblo <laughs> Viejo, which burned last night, was the most popular restaurant in, in Metro Sur. Good. Metro Sur. I haven't read any news today that Bukele burned. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was expecting a comment. <laughs> That's in the, the earthquake in the... I, get oh, yeah. <laughs> I was expecting something in El Faro like Bukele mandó a quemar Pueblo Viejo porque no le gustaba la sopa ahí or, or something. Una de humo. Yeah, porque yeah, Bukele did it because he wanted <laughs> Okay, so that, that was a good example. Um, okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a, a topic and you tell me, give me an indefinite and a definite um, Plus, all right, Rosa Elena. Yes. Omar Angulo. Who is Omar Angulo? <laughs> oh man, it's a person you will hate, but love because you get addicted to him because he's so ridiculous. <laughs> but I like him. Okay. I'm, I, I was waiting I for the Pueblo Viejo song. Yeah. yeah. You don't you don't know who Omar Angulo is? No, really, I don't know. Yeah, oh, good for you. He thinks like like I don't he's know. He's like a comedian, no? He thinks he's a comedian. Yeah. He, <laughs> yeah, he, he thinks. thinks. Yeah, he, he thinks. thinks. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Ingrid. I'll come back to you, Rosa. Tell me, Omar Angulo. Okay. Omar Angulo. Omar Angulo, which has. I'm sorry, Omar Angulo is not an object. Ah, I don't Omar know. Angulo, who? Andre, ah, Omar Angulo, Omar Angulo, who is a comedian? I don't know. Uh, how to say. I want to be comedian. What? I want to be. Mm, I want to be comedian. Yes. Uh -huh. He's famous for doing the ridiculous. I don't know. <laughs> okay, for being ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, good. So, uh, Omar Angulo, who is a wannabe. Mm -hmm. Do you know what is a wannabe? That is, I think, is the same that is no. <laughs> that pretend to be something that, that is not. Yeah. No. No. I'm, I'm wrong. I wanna be. <laughs> the singers, no? No. That is pretend to be something that you are. Oh not. yeah, yeah. One, yeah. It comes from want to be. Want to be. Um, but people just say, "Ah, oh, he's a wannabe." Okay. Yes, he's a wannabe. There is a comedian Salvadorian here that is like, he's something. <laughs> Sometimes he's kind of pulgar, but it's really funny. Cipro. <laughs> Cipro. Oh, I never heard of him. Yeah, that is uh, has interest. In, in, in my time, it was it was a flaco Frank. I don't know if he's dead. <laughs> flaco Frank. <laughs> Do you remember, I remember him? that guy? He was funny. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember? Okay, this is. Let me see if you're really old school here. Do you remember? <laughs> Star. <laughs> this is not. Oh, okay. No. You don't know Sa? <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. Sa. Um, Malabarista. Yes, I am that. Yeah. In the yes. Sala Rosa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who is Doña Lilian? <laughs> Who is Doña Lilian? No. Doña Lilian. Yes, that song from the Zona Rosa. Remember, Gio? Yeah. Like in 1999 or something? Yeah. It's it's like the La Colocha who who sells beers outside the concerts and oh and and, and uh, <laughs> football games yeah but you know i think it, like i remember last year in my anniversary we went with my wife to have a few beers in los toros or los broncos los toros. i don't know I, I forgot the los name toros. yeah because a very good friend of mine was was going to play uh from fuga 
And uh -huh. suddenly I hear, Sah! and I turned around. <laughs> oh my God, I it's know. still alive. I see that life. With, with the. Yeah. He got run over once by a car. Okay. <laughs> okay, this guy is funny because for many years he walks around all the bars and yeah. he just says, Yarina, Sai, he starts. And you know, but the objective is he likes people to tell him off, like, you know, he's the Viva la Alianza, you know. I don't know. He's, but he makes good money. But I was, oh my God, he's alive. I started taking videos of him and sending them to my friends and everybody. Oh my God, he's alive. Sa. Mm -hmm. Ricardo, give me an example. Who is, who is Doña Lilian? Is Doña or Niña Lilian? Niña Lilian, right? Niña Lilian. Niña Lilian. Okay, Ricardo, give me, give me the full, the indefinite, indefinite clause. Nia Lilian, who is living in Apopa, is a, a comedian. I don't know. It's a <laughs> ridiculous tool for the vocabulary. Very good. How do you call those people that get famous in, in, you, in, in Facebook? or How do you call them? Influencer. Influence. Influencer. No, no, because those are people that they, they do it. They become it. No, but there's a name for people that become famous for no reason. Como Lady Wu. Remember Lady Wu? Woo no. YouTuber. Yes, I know who Lady Wu. I think after Lady Wu is that there, there's a term for that. Lady Wu, watch it, watch it. And, and you have to, when the class ends, you have to watch that video on YouTube. Remember Menudo when they did a, a, a reunion concert mm -hmm. but the, the classic the, the original menudo so in mexico there was like oh my god and there was a news reporter you know he was saying here we are in the mexico in the concert of menudo and when they show the pit you know the people <sighs> all the women and then there was this man <laughs> a very old was, man yeah but obviously yeah. he was homosexual Yes. And then the reporter came, uh, who do you like? He said, oh, I love Menudo, woo. woo. And he, he always <laughs> finished with woo. And if you meet Menudo, what do you do? Oh, I kiss him, woo, woo. And then he became Lady Woo. But he became <laughs> really famous. I mean, even Chevrolet gave him a car. So that's similar to um, Nina Lillian. But that was very good. That's uh, that's more information, you know. Uh, Nina Lilian, who's living in Opopa, is a Facebook sensation. We can say that. Facebook uh, sensation. <laughs> or she is a person who got famous in Facebook because you want to give essential information, right? Okay, Rosa Elena. Yes. Salvador Dali. Okay, I know. I, I know. I, I imagine. <laughs> I imagine you did. I know him too. Yes. Salvador Dali, who is famous for his paints, uh -huh. mm, died in Hirali. Okay, I don't know good. where he died. Okay, good. That was kind of tricky because I think you gave me the essential information first. Uh, yes, who is famous because for his fame? If you analyze the, the two, the two uh, informations that you gave me, he died in Italy or who is famous from Italy uh, for, for his paintings. So let's change. So Salvador Dali, who died in Italy? Is famous for his paintings. Was famous because he's done. Was. No, he's famous. He still is famous. Yeah, that's true. You're right. You're right. All right, cool. Jordana. Goku. You like anime, right? Yes. Yeah, I don't like anime. So good. Uh, tell me about Goku. Goku. Wow. <laughs> 
Goku, who is a character of Dragon Ball, um, is the most well-known anime in El Salvador. Very good. I like that. That was a good example because nobody, somebody who does not know who Goku is, she finished with the sensual. Is the most famous anime in El Salvador. Aún no sabemos quién es, pero ya sabemos qué es. Mm. <laughs> right? Yeah. All right, cool. Gio, hey, listen to this. Uh, Alistair uh, Crowley. Oh, man. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I remember the city, but. But hold on, Gio. Class, do you know who Alistair Crowley is? Yeah. No, no, not, not you, Gio, the class. No. This is going to uh -huh. be good. Okay, now, Gio, it's your no. responsibility to give them the um, the clauses. Okay. Uh, Alistair Crowley, um, who made the first um, Black church movement in the United States. In Europe. Uh, no? Was born... And man, don't remember the the city. Mm. For there was a song that say that in that city was born a a a um an iron child. I remember that. So he was born yeah. in he was born in England, no? Yeah, and he was the first the the the, the creator of the Black Bible. Yes. Yeah. Okay, but so class, so we have two things. Um, what do you think was the most essential information there? Alistair Crowley, who who was the creator of the satanic church. Yeah. What was the other example you gave? Um, What's born the, in England? Yep. Look, you know, saying can Alistair Crowley for you, what was more essential right there? He was a, like an English. What he taste? Yes. So in that case, Gio, I would have said Alistair Crowley, who was born in England. Was born in England. Yeah. And then you finish with the was the um, was the founder of the first satanic church. But yeah, what's interesting is that legally, he 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 had permission to uh, to start the satanic church. He was a very sick person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, but it's interesting. Hmm? How many things he was magician, poet. He was everything, yeah. Painter, novelist. Yeah. <laughs> and there are many songs yeah. about him, obviously, from rock groups. Even yeah. the Beatles, the Beatles have him on the cover. Yeah. I think it's in the where the, the a bunch of people I don't yes. remember the name of that album. Ah, uh, the um no, the yellow submarine, no, no, Sergeant Pepper. Sergeant Pepper, yeah, yes. Sergeant Pepper. So, okay, so uh, if is is this is not a religion topic, but if you, if you like um, unique characters, unique people, you should read about Aleister Crowley. He's he's interesting. I read about Aleister Crowley. I read about Mike Smith, the founder of the the. I mean, anything, anything that is interesting, I read, I like. All right, thank you, Gio. Si no sabía quién era Mr. Cowley, Gio, I would have said, oh, you disappointed me. But I know who is Maluma. Yes. <laughs> no, Camilo era. <laughs> yes, I remember Camilo because of you. You knew Camilo. <laughs> All right, Michelle. Yes. How old are you, Michelle? 24. 24. Michelle, give me an example. TikTok. No, Instagram. I still don't understand Instagram. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, go. Uh, Instagram, which is um, at, I let me see. Instagram, which is an app. No, no. I think I have no idea. What can I say about Instagram? It's all right. Try it. Instagram, it's a 
wanna be application that pretends to be, let's say, I don't know, I will start again. Okay. Mm. Instagram, which seems to be a, let's say, family friendly app. Okay, it's okay. Uh, here I recommend you one thing because here the essential information that Instagram is an app. Yeah. Right? So you can uh, say Instagram, easy. which you can download for free. Okay. Uh -huh. we'll and then you finish with essential information. Mm -hmm. Go. I think you should give me another, another subject. <laughs> okay, okay, but, it, okay, but I can give an example. In Instagram, which you can download for free in your phone, is an app that is used to communicate by pictures, I think, correct? Yes. Right, Michelle. <laughs> okay, good. Yes, the essential thing about Instagram is that it's an app that you use to communicate only with photos. Photos. I think you can't write, correct? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Oh, you can? Yeah. All the names. Oh, okay. I have videos too. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. All right, cool. Josue. Yes. All right, go. So, Mr. Lionel Messi. Okay. Sir Lionel Messi. Sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, Lionel Messi, who is the best soccer player? Oh, yeah. In uh, the world. world. In the world. Um, won the, the best player um, uh, prize, right? Or, or cup. Okay, good. Good. Okay, the two were very essential information about Messi. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Oh, you know, you could have said, yeah, Messi, who is from Argentina, is the best soccer player in history. Oh. Mm -hmm. History, not the world. In the history of the universe. Okay, not not the, the universe. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, what the, about Pelé? Of the universe. Oh. No, Pelé does not count. <laughs> oh, Maradona? From Pelé. No. Even best than Maradona? Even yeah, of course. of course. Yes, no, because sorry. Maradona in his time, when he was, oh, Maradona, so Maradona, right? But the problem <laughs> is that Maradona in his time, soccer was not so competitive as it is now. You know, now they play champions, they play La Liga, they play the... the Blah, blah, they, they play every three days and they you know and when Maradona played he played in good leagues but it was not very competitive y Pelé, 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 he made a thousand I don't know like a thousand five hundred goals pero le cuentan los que les metió en un amistoso a los bomberos de Sao Paulo oh. <laughs> yes you know like, you know, todas las charamuxas. Yes, yes. <laughs> las cuenta él, man, like, you know. And, and you know what? Oh. Okay, I'm going to give you an example here. Pele, who some people consider the best player in history, never played outside of Brazil. Ah, you see Jordana's reaction? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, because and that's, that's essential information. So, you know, that's why it's kind of difficult to say Pelé is the best in history. I don't know. Mm. He never did play outside of Brazil. You didn't know that, too. Ah, good. Okay, a eso sirve essential information. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Let's finish this. Most popular one in town. Just to help you out a bit, look at the following charts. They are used in defining and non-defining relative clauses. Come up with your own sentences and ask your teacher to check them out for you. Ah, that's what we're doing right now. Okay, let's do the exercise. Cool, okay, knowledge check, assess. Yeah. 
read the following sentences, identify the relative clause, then rewrite the same sentences, add commas where necessary. Remember capital letters and periods. Bangkok, one night in Bangkok. Okay, Bangkok, which is the capital of Thailand, has many excellent restaurants and markets. What did you put? Bangkok, comma. Bangkok, comma. Which is the capital of Thailand, comma, has many excellent restaurants and markets. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bangkok, come on, sorry. Which is the capital of Thailand? You know, I'm capital. going to do this. Which is the capital? Yeah, yes. copy paste, man. Yeah, everything. And just everything. put the comma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Comma, co comma and then comma and, then and copy. the rest. <laughs> comma. <laughs> but that's cheating. No, it's not. Oh, sorry. Sure. From say so. <laughs> Do you know who Al Bundy is? No. Yeah. He's my Wait, idol. Children. <laughs> I have I have all the seasons. I have all the seasons. If you ever want them, I can. Um, he says it's only wanna... cheating if you get caught. <laughs> 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 okay. Hong Kong was a British colony until 1997 when it returned to China. Okay. Hong Kong, Hong Kong was a British colony until 1997, comma, when it was returned to China. Hong Kong, comma? No, comma, until okay. 1997. So. Hong Kong was a British colony until 1997, comma. And it was returned to China. Jordana, I figured out your voice. But that's, I you, think it's just. You work at the airport. I should, right? <laughs> that voice, ding, ding, ding. El vuelo 747. That's you. Okay, so you will remember me next time you fly. Yeah, yeah, everybody imagines, oh man, she's so good. San Francisco, California. Okay, so Hong Kong was a British colony until 1997, comma. When it was returned to China. When it was yeah. returned to China. China. Russia. Um, Busan. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. Busan is a busy port city that is located in South Korea. Korea. South Korea. Busan is a busy port city, comma, that is located okay. in South Korea. Bus okay, wait, Busan? That it is a busy port city, comma, that is located in South Korea. I don't know. City? This is defining clauses. Yes. So uh, is everybody okay with this? Busan is a busy port city. Mm -hmm. Obama, or Busan, which is maybe? No. Which is located in well, South, South Korea. It's a busy port. Busan, comma, com comma. Mm -hmm. Busan, comma. I put Busan is a busy port city, comma, that is located in South Korea. I, I did it like, um, as Jordana did, and it's correct. It's correct. <clears throat> the one yeah. that I go around, it's number four. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so can you tell me, the Jordana? Number three. Yeah. yeah, so Busan is a busy port city that is located in South Korea. Where is the comma? At city. Port city. Port city. It's a busy port city, comma. Ah, Busan. Mm -hmm. There. Comma, yeah. all right. Comma. Yeah. Now, number four. I don't know which is. Bogota, which is situated in a high plateau. Situated, really? That's what they put? 
This is a Google translation. Um. <laughs> because it's not, okay, I'm sorry, class, I, but it's my job, I have to tell you. You don't say El Salvador is situated. You say El Salvador is located. 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 Yes, somebody did this in Spanish. Bogotá, que está situado en una Yes, this is a Google translation. Mm -hmm. Bogota, which is situated on a high plateau in central Colombia, has frequently changing weather. What did you put? Bogota. Bogota. Uh -huh. I'm sorry? Bogota, Bogota. coma. Bogota, coma. Uh, which is situated which, in a in high spot in, in central in Colombia. Colombia. Coma. Uh -huh. Coma has frequently the changing, changing weather. weather. Nope. And <laughs> it's wrong. And it's wrong, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah okay. It's wrong there. I thought it was going to be right. <laughs> <laughs> I try many, but right. we'll see. Know. We'll see what the platform says, but at least you got you got it right. I mean, Montreal gotcha. is a sophisticated city where some of the best cuisine in Canada is found. Yeah, Montreal is a sophisticated. And there is a Mesa spell there too, for some for the best cuisine. It's missing. R, so and you need to put it like that. Four. Montreal, comma. Let's see. Well, Let's show it. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, let's see, let's see. Let's see. All right. Okay, so Bogota. Bogota, comma. Number one is. Hey, there is a, a space. Hey, I... That's that's the 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 Where? error. Okay. You see. There is the, no space there. No space in Bogota, comma, which. In Bogota, which. Okay, right? you, there is no space. That's that's the error. Okay, I'm going to yeah. I'm yeah. going to do it. So you copy and paste. <laughs> <laughs> that is, it, I, I, I get I get right. Yeah. If that space, that space yeah. Bogota, comma, which. There is no space, and that's the error. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Yeah, you got it right. Ooh. Okay, very good. <laughs> Maybe it was a trick. You know, you can say eight spaces, mm -hmm. remember. Yeah, but man, <laughs> that, that, that's wrong. Did anyone did, else did get you... another one wrong? Are you are, are you recording this 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 class? <laughs> <laughs> we can repeat it after that. <laughs> you want me to copy and paste everything? Yeah. No, oh, really. Did anyone get another one wrong? No. Oh. no just what was Montreal? Four. Montreal is a sophisticated city yeah, where some of the where. best cuisine in Canada is found. Yeah. So I'm sorry, where, defining. where is the mistake, uh, Jordana, that you said? Some for the best cuisine. I, oh, yeah. State F O. Some of, of yeah. Whoever does this platform, they should have one of you do it. You know, they pay you. Hey, make you know, do some exercises. Because whoever is doing this platform in that spell and is using Google Translate. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll, it says 3.3 .3 lesson objective. In this class, participants will learn vocabulary to talk about cities. All right. Yeah. Apopa. Major is restricted. I make a city. Maybe. I don't know. Apopa is a city which is not which very is famous for the friendly, which is not very friendly. It's yeah, it's not very. Uh, civilian friendly. Not recommendable to visit. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's not very civilian friendly. <laughs> <laughs> or citizen friendly. They don't like citizens. 
only locals, se puede decir así. <risa> Solo locales, no locos, okay. locals. <risa> locales, así les dicen. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, let's listen to the video. Hi, let's go over some words which will help you talk a little bit about your city. Describing a city, architecture, cuisine, costumes, festival, historical sites, nightlife, scenery, shopping. What are some important features for you? Talk to your classmates and teacher about the ideal place for you to live in. Try to use the words just learned. Okay, here we have to start with Jordana because, because I mean, where you live, right? So can you tell us using some of those words, our architecture, scenery, scenery is one must, uh, weather. The coffee. The coffee. Cuisine, okay. no, uh, it's not famous for cuisine, correct? No. And the, and the weather too. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's, let's see what you can tell us about. Sure, so Ataco, it's famous for its weather and beautiful scenery, as well as for coffee, I think. Very good. Yes, very good, you explained it very good. But you can, sometimes if you want to add more, a taco is famous because, okay, you said one thing right now. You said it's famous for its weather. But imagine if you're telling that to somebody from Egypt. <laughs> yeah, you know, where I live is famous for its weather. He wants to know, so what, hot or cold? How's the weather? <laughs> yeah. Right. So, you know, a taco, yes, it's, good. it's famous for its cold weather because it's located in the mountains or situated, como decía ahí. It's located in the mountains and it's famous for its coffee. And it's a tourist attraction, good. All right, let me see. Rosa Elena. Yes, hello. Hi. Carlos, where do you live, Rosa? In a mountain neighborhood. All right. Um, en este caso, como I think the majority of us live in San Salvador, describamos your neighborhood. Ah, okay. Because then everybody's going to describe San Salvador, except Jordana, mm -hmm. because she's losing a taco. Okay, go, Rosa. Mm -hmm. Miramonte. Okay. Miramonte's neighborhood is um, famous for his uh, very high traffic. Okay. And it's bars. And yeah, I hope. Ah, it's, <laughs> because there is a yeah, they can, that's essential. That's many, essential. Yes, essential. There are many hotels near, near um, and it's, it, because it's uh, near the metro centro. Okay, good. All right. Okay, so okay, I like that. It, you know, you gave good information. Yeah. Uh, Miramonte is famous for its bars and its hotels because it's near Metro Centro. Good. All right, Nelson. Let's do one thing. Let's do one thing, Nelson. Don't tell us where you live. Just tell us why it's famous and maybe we guess. So you have to give a good explanation so we can guess. <sighs> Actually, I don't know why it's the famous because uh, in Santa Tecla, for example, in Santa Tecla. Oh, yeah, but, in Santa Tecla. Yeah, but uh, Santa Tecla is famous. Mm, it's famous for. But you see, you're talking about the city. Sorry? Okay, no, no, go uh, ahead, continue, please. So Santa Tecla is famous for? Famous for to, to taste uh, uh, cebada, a cebada for, for, from, uh, I don't know, what is the, the last name, the, the, the family that make a, a, a delicious cebada. 
eh, en, las, en las delicias. I don't know. Yeah. I heard about, about them. Yeah, that's <laughs> interesting. I learned something new about Santa Tecla. Yeah, but uh, it's famous for to to have a a big park. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good. Santa Tecla is famous for having a big park in Paseo. El Paseo, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. También, ¿cómo se llama Paseo? El Carmen. El Carmen. El Carmen. Paseo el Carmen. Yeah. Paseo el Carmen. All right, cool. All right. Uh, guess, guess the city. Where I live is famous for the handcraft. Y lo vasco. Good, yes, yes. <laughs> All right. It's famous for it. surprises. The Tiny surprises. Yeah, the tiny, the, the little ones. Yeah, yeah. tiny surprises <laughs> <laughs> that you pull up. Uh, ding. They're very dirty. <laughs> yeah, they're very, <laughs> they're very vulgar. Yeah, vulgar. Yeah, <laughs> they, they are creative. They yeah. are creative. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I recommend you tomorrow when you go to work or something. You know, like if you want to practice, I always tell people. You don't need to study, you just need to practice. You know, imagine you're driving by and you see McDonald's. McDonald's is a restaurant which is famous for its Big Mac. Oh. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you see a Burger King, oh my Burger King is a restaurant famous for its Whopper. Yeah. And then you, you see, and then you, I don't know, you pass La Pradera. Oh, La Pradera is famous for. <laughs> You know, when people are tired, okay. you just, okay. oh, yes. Oh, yeah, but next to La Pradera, oh, man, that street is famous for drug dealing. Yeah. Or, uh, Venta de drogas, drug dealing. La Tutu. No, no, La Pradera. Ah. Yes, it's very, not, okay, not the, the hotel. Not the hotel. Next to the hotel, there's a Next street. The hotel. Yes. It's very famous for that. And you know what's ironic? It's very, I remember that for, for the restaurant. Do you remember the. the, the there was yeah. an herradura there. Oh, yeah, there was. Yeah. Okay. But you know, that, that's what I'm telling you. That's, that's how you can practice. Okay. You know, just driving around, just what, whatever you see, like, hey, la niña Menchita, she's famous for all the gossip in the, <laughs> famosa por ser chambros, all the gossip in the neighborhood, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, you, you just practice. You don't, that's the good thing when you learn something. That English you learn, you don't study. So the best way to practice, the best way to study is practicing it, you know, just talking to yourself. And now it's okay to talk to yourself because 10 years ago, if people saw you in the car talking to yourself, you were crazy. But now with technology, oh, maybe he's talking on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, now it's normal to see people, you know, like it's not crazy anymore. Yeah, that's what people do. All right. Okay, class. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll see okay. you tomorrow. Thank Have you. a great night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, everyone. Bye bye.